um, when we were uh, preparing for this panel, it was very obvious, and, and thanks to President-elect who put us in, in the perspective and reminded us of the time in history of 1918 and 1948. Uh, and um, I reflected on that a little bit more because I'm, I'm really hoping that between now and 2084, uh, 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 the multilateral system, of course, uh, as countries of the Global South, we are always calling for the reform of the Bretton Woods institutions and uh, uh, development finance and uh, the United Nations. But I, I just want to echo what my friend from South Africa was saying. I'll, um, I'll, actually, I don't think it will matter 60 years from now. It, will, it won't, probably won't matter because exactly for what, what, what we were saying. I mean, you will have... <clears throat> We, we, I'm assuming that the multilateral system and the parallel systems that would have developed over time will have institutionalized the process of dealing with um, the migration of, of climate refugees or the process of, in the case of Israel, there was a process of repatriation of refugees, except that in the meantime, yeah, um, between 10 and 25 percent of UN membership would have, would have disappeared, and this raises questions that humanity has never faced in, in the past. In this. So I'm just hoping that between now and then, our creativity in the multilateral system and, and parallel, parallel systems will have found at least the bureaucratic process to deal with it.